If anyone thought the Greek finance minister might have an easy ride in Brussels, given Athens' belated bending to its creditors' demands, they might think again. Despite the positive reaction to the latest Greek moves from some creditors, it soon became clear that Saturday afternoon's meeting of European finance ministers was going to be no pushover. Even though Athens now agrees to more austerity as it seeks a third bailout, Europe is sceptical. Germany is Greece's biggest creditor. Its finance minister said negotiations would be exceptionally difficult. The problem, he said, is that there was a situation at the end of the year that was very hopeful, despite all the scepticism of previous years, but this was destroyed in an incredible way in the last few months. Nor can others put aside the recent bad blood between Greece's left-wing Syriza government and international lenders as they scrutinize the Greek proposals. Um, there is still a lot of criticism on the proposals, on the reform side, on the fiscal side. And there is, of course, a major issue of trust. Uh, can the, the Greek government be trusted to actually uh, do what they are promising to actually implement in the coming weeks, months and years? And um, I think those are the key issues that will be addressed today. Euronews correspondent in Brussels says The Eurozone ministers are divided as to the prospect of an early agreement. The political backstage is the scene of intensive activity, with the Greek finance minister holding various bilateral meetings. Many EU officials say that Sunday will be the decisive day at the crucial and historical EU summit for Greece.